Welcome to the Let's Play TFTC Reimagined. Okay, I'm going to stop doing that accent. That was silly. Anyway, yes, welcome to uh, Battle 3 Mission 2. Uh, we're going to destroy a pirate base today. Before we can begin constructing our new facility here in the Bakuni system, we must first eradicate the pirate stronghold in the area. Their main base has been located within a hollowed out asteroid. We have to so that's, again, um, an expansion of the, of the narrative that we imagined uh, world building here. Uh, the original version of this mission is the pirate base is basically a bunch of containers floating in the middle of nowhere. Um, this has bothered me a little with these kinds of missions where it's just a bunch of containers floating in the middle of nowhere. I actually wanted it to be a proper base, all enemy ships, so that we may begin construction. So in this case, I've used the uh, uh, a stock X-Wing Alliance asset, or at least an upgraded version of it, which is the uh, hollowed out asteroid base. And I think this makes uh, uh, for a much better proper pirate base. To, to work from. Um, I think perhaps in retrospect I should have added some uh, more actual asteroids flying around the area, but uh, no, it, it's fine as it is, so yeah. To rearm in the field. Try to inspect the enemy containers before they're destroyed. Ah, we got to inspect containers. Always inspecting containers. Secret Order loves us to inspect containers. ...chosen the Pakuni system as the place for our new installation. However, this area of space is rife with pirates and smugglers. Under Vice Admiral Thrawn, the Empire will bring order to this sector. We will start by neutralizing the pirates' main base of operations located in a hollowed out asteroid. The Victory Class Star Destroyer Stalwart and the modified frigate Ludwig will lead the attack. The facility is likely defended by a handful of starfighters and three corvette class. So I think this is the first real base assault mission. Um, we have kind of done this, I say kind of, you know, we, we captured a platform in Battle 2 groups, um, and uh, Battle 1 with D-34, but this is the first full-on base assault where we're just, we're not here to capture stuff, we're here to just wipe everything out. Uh, I think it's a bit reminiscent of uh, Battle 1 Mission 3, where you destroy the uh, pirate rebel uh, arms deal. At, uh, this is primarily an attack against the uh, the pirates here. This, uh, we couldn't destroy the Magari base directly, because I, I, narratively I put that on a planet. But this time, we're going to kill some pirates. I'm going to try and wipe them out. Again, we're in the TIE Bomber. I think at least in this mission it makes much better sense to be flying a TIE Bomber than the previous mission. And, oh, look at that visually. Uh, this this is an update for 1.2. The wraparound nebula for the Pakuni system in most of Battle 3 was um, much brighter than this, if you may recall. Um, it was a very, very bright red nebula. And I think this earned some criticism in some places. Uh, but uh, all of our wraparound nebulas skyboxes have been made uh, different now. They're softer, much... And this looks way better, I think. And... Uh, I adjusted some things about a bit, so when you first launch, you've got the pirate base, uh, pirate base silhouetted against the sun, and I think that's a, a love, lovely visual way to start the mission, because uh, then you can see the base and uh, the fighters all silhouetted uh, against the, the backdrop, and it just it's just nice to look at. And I've said before, if this was just the black of space, it'd be much harder to see that, and it, harder to appreciate, I think. Now you don't have to engage the fighters, um, but I, I like to do that. So we're going to try some dumb firing here. Uh, see if I can aim my torpedoes. Because my first batch of aiming did not go well. I think I missed my first shots. There we go. Yeah, I wasted welcome earlier there. Which didn't hit at all, but there we go. Gunship down. Last throw my last torpedo at that. I got a starship firing at me. This is free. I'm heavily damaged. Primary target update. Their hull is heavily damaged. They have been destroyed. I think again, this is a mission that could probably use a bit more tweaking. Um, 
I don't think the player's actions here necessarily uh, required. There's probably the AI can take most of this out on its own. The only thing the player really needs to do here is inspect the containers uh, where you find some rebels somewhere. And the AI will not destroy the containers, at least the special ones at least, to, until you've uh, inspected them. Uh, that, that was a problem in an earlier version of this mission where the AI, if you didn't inspect the containers fast enough, the AI would just end up destroying the containers. Um, and players were finding it too difficult to do that in the midst of this furball. Or at least the uh, AI was doing it too quickly before you could do something uh, reasonably about it. Incoming rebel fighters. So again, we've got a token force of rebels coming in here. They're not too much to worry about, and um, the uh, Ludwig or the Stalwart aren't in any serious danger here. I think again, in an early version of the mission, the they, the Ludwig could could be destroyed, uh, but no longer. <coughs> So we've got the pi the uh, the base is dealt with now, and it's just the rebels, uh, rebel reinforcements. So you can now go to and inspect these containers. And once you find it, you then have to wait for a transport to come along and capture it. And then you get a another objective to destroy it. And I think this is a part of the mission which you can again use better streamlining because, like the last mission, the player is just going to be ending up waiting for something to do and there is nothing to do you know you can blow up these containers but you're still gonna have to wait a few minutes for the uh, assault transport to come along capture the container then you get the uh, objective to destroy the remaining containers and then the mission's complete so yeah again narratively speak uh, narratively uh, gameplay flow wise this could be better excellent all Pakuni ships have been eliminated Because as you can see there, the, the the Ludwig and the Stort are quite far away. And although the Assault Transport is going fairly fast there, 72 for matching speed, it's still, yeah, you're still just kind of uh, twiddling your thumbs. I don't like that, as I explained in the last, uh, last video. Unless there's a narrative reason um, for you waiting, then I don't like to do it. So we're just going to fly an escort with this uh, assault transport. I wonder how big we are compared to this guy. Should we... Uh, as close as we can... Hey, it's a big ship! I love the detail on these uh, tie models, seeing the pilot in there. Excellent work by uh, DTM. He's the uh, guy who remade all the tie craft. I think the um, the Advanced X-1, the uh, Vader's tie fighter, is the only one that hasn't been um, remade yet. That's still using an older model. And there's also the uh, all the uh, tie Bizarro models which are present in the game files which are used in the X-Men Alliance campaign battle 2 I think which is a Zarin thing as well and I do plan to actually use those at some point um, but uh, yeah I don't want to go into spoiler territory there but yeah just just as a hint for the future you will see Thai Bizarros again uh, in uh, much later reimagined campaigns just as a sort of narrative tie into X-Men Alliance which is something I really want to do. Uh, battle 12 of uh, TIE Fighter is all about the battle, um, sort of the the Endor stuff and trying to feint the rebels into getting the information that they need to attack the Death Star without realizing that this is what we want them to do. Um, but Battle 12 is going to feature a lot of crossover stuff with the X-Wing Alliance campaign uh, to try and merge these two storylines together. So I'm quite looking forward to seeing how that plays out. The Goonies base has been eliminated. Good work. There we go. Mission complete. At once. Excellent. 
With their main base destroyed, the remaining Bakuni pirates will now be in a state of disarray and should now pose far less of a threat to us. Now we can begin to build an Imperial outpost here to firmly establish our hold over this sector and to prevent further predatory attacks on legitimate trading vessels. With a strong Imperial presence, trade here will begin to flourish once more. However, the presence of the rebels is a cause for concern and we will need to remain vigilant. It seems the pirates have been working with the rebels and may have significant presence in this sector. We have begun to interrogate the prisoners and hope to have a great deal of information soon as to the extent of their resources. Indeed. Indeed. Go check the pilot's room or crew quarters quickly and uh, do we have anything new? No, we don't. What do we? No, we got the ring. Okay. Nice little ring. Emails. Ooh, message from Thrawn himself. Okay, yeah. Seems fair, yeah. Don't want the pirates capturing stuff that they shouldn't have. But anyway, that was that mission. Uh, not particularly uh, interesting or much to talk about there, so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, join me next time for uh, Battle 3 Mission 3. And uh, until then, good hunting.